Why I choose to use compost tea. In the gardening space, um, as well as permaculture space, it seems like compost tea is something that's readily accepted. When you start getting to the market gardening and small ag farming, compost tea seems to be something that people kind of raise an eyebrow to whether or not it's effective or not. The last video, man, it was getting way too windy. Anyway, I've heard JM say that he didn't really see a difference, at least a noticeable difference in the amount of weight that he was getting um, per, per harvest. The same thing for Curtis Stone. I can't tell you that I've gotten necessarily more weight, but I, what I will definitely tell you is that my plants after I compost tea look like it's just rain. After, after a nice rain out here, my plants are just like oh for the most part it looks like that as well after i've compost tea not as much but definitely you can see there's a noticeable difference um now my theory is and i could be wrong i know there's a lot of soil scientists out there uh and hopefully some of you guys can chime in uh, if you guys actually know but my theory is here in california and other places where it just doesn't rain that often we may not get all those minerals and all that bacteria and all that extra nice stuff that you get in places like Canada and other places or regions of the world where it actually does rain more. So to me, maybe that's why I can see a difference after I've compost teed um, as opposed to somebody that lives in one of those places where it rains more. Just a theory, I could be wrong as I don't know what. But that's kind of what I'm going with right now. I will definitely say, however, after utilizing them, especially on the fruiting crops, yeah, there was a noticeable difference. I mean, a huge difference in the amount of growth that I got from those plants. I was like this close to yanking out of the ground because I thought they were dying. I compost teed them and um, yeah, within a couple days, they were just looking extremely healthy and they led to be some beautiful crops. Now, it could be argued that 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 they were gonna do that anyway. I definitely can. But all I know is I compost teed and I've seen that difference. Uh, I, 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 like, I don't really know the answer here. I haven't really noticed or seen any kind of noticeable difference in terms of my weight like I was getting at before. And that's mainly because, especially when it comes to my, my transplanting crops, like my salanovas and all that stuff, I've only used compost tea since I've been doing it. So I don't really know the difference. Um, when it does come to some of the other leafy greens, like the stuff that we direct sow here, I've actually noticed difference in them too, in terms of the way that they look. They're actually, the actual vigor. It looks, they look more healthy. Um, I don't know, what have you guys found out there? I feel as though it, it might be worth doing, not the way that I'm doing it right now, however. There's a couple things I need to do to change that to make that a little bit easier for myself. I think that it, actually it actually works man um at least for me in my in my in my context also compost team on an organic basis if i'm not mistaken is probably the fastest way to inject any kind of nutrients into your plants seeing that plants only take up nutrients that are water soluble right that's why things like your granules or your rock dust all that kind of stuff takes some time to actually break down it has to go through a whole process to break down in order for your plants to actually begin to absorb that and take that up as nutrients that's why it's more of a long-term organic fertilizer if you will compost tea it's already liquid so you just pour that on and for the most part they just take that in now, i'm not exactly sure guys i don't know whether or not it is worth it to do it or not. I feel as though it is. Yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with the way things are looking. I also like to do it right after I've, um, or not necessarily right after, but soon thereafter, I've put in a new crop. That has yet to be compost tea. I'll, uh, I'll drop some compost tea uh, on that in the morning. Um, also after I've harvested. Again, that hasn't been compost teed. We'll uh, compost tea in the morning. I did a video for this not too long ago on Instagram. <laughs> but this is where and how I use my compost tea. <clears throat> so here's my brewing stations right here. Oh, it's kind of windy back here too, man. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. But that's all the water that we use for our wash. The flavor content definitely could be argued. 
Does it give more of a flavor? Maybe these are some things that I need to experiment with a little bit more. So I'm just keep, I'm gonna keep composting. It's something that I've pretty much done for years. Something that I got away from when I started doing more of a market gardening type of uh, gardening. But I'm actually getting back to it now. Another reason why I like to compost tea, man, is because my, my soils here, dude, they're not great. Well, they're a lot better than what they were. They're good, but they're not great. Uh, and I find that composting them, again, is another quick way for me to actually get the nutrients that I need into my plants faster, as opposed to, you know, all the compost and the other organic fertilizers, the granule stuff, the dry stuff that we've actually already put onto the uh, rows. That stuff, man, it can take months before it starts breaking down or um, becomes available for the plants. So. A lot of times, you know, I can actually utilize that in the compost tea as well. I can get some of those dry ferts, put it inside the compost tea, brew it up, and then pour it on my um, pour it on my plants. So yeah, like I was saying before, man, we use a couple different kinds. I use the 511, maybe for like I was saying for leafy greens and all that other stuff, and then I also use a uh, a bioag, SCD bioag. This stuff's really good too. That's more or less just a probiotic. Right, so it's just bacteria that actually help break down the uh, the the, the uh, other nutrients and minerals that are in, actually inside the soil. It actually helps break that stuff down and add and gets it to the uh, the plants a little bit faster. So I don't know, man. Um, I think maybe it's something that might be worth looking at. Uh, for me, um, I'm gonna keep doing it. Not the way that I've been doing it. <laughs> Not the way that I'm doing it right now. Uh, I'll be getting some other kind of pumps and stuff like that to actually make that a little bit easier and faster for me. I'm a lot smaller than a lot of other market gardeners out there. So for me to come out here and put on an app application of compost tea, it really isn't that big of a deal, right? It's just, I, I can run through it. Plus it helps me get rid of a lot of the water uh, so I can utilize it twice. Um, because I don't like to use my water just once. So I can use a lot of water twice, um, and hopefully I'm doing something good. Oh yeah, I was coming over here to grab a pomegranate. <laughs> um, but anyway, man, I think that definitely composting is something that needs to be looked at. I can totally understand market gardeners not doing it, especially if they're not seeing any kind of significant yield out of it, if the uh, weight is the main reason for you to be doing compost team. And if you're not seeing a significant difference, then why do it, right? It makes absolutely it makes absolutely no sense to do it. But if you are going for flavor, maybe it might be worth it. If you're going for that much better, maybe, you know, it could be better. Like I was saying before, I do see a significant difference within the vigor of the plant after I've compost teed. Uh, so yeah, to me, that's enough. But um, anyway, Thanks for watching, y'all. Let me grab this pomegranate. Look at this joker, dude. Look at that. It's almost as big as my head. Yeah, this gets compost teed all the time. <laughs> Peace, y'all. I'm gonna rub this, man. It's gonna be delicious.